Oh, I don't think I'll drink this. It's a bit too dirty, don't you think? I think so too. So what we're going to do today is looking at how we can get maybe some clean water from this sample of some dirty water we found at the school. Now we're going to use separation techniques today and have a look at how they're used and how, we, how they actually work. So we're looking at the processes of filtration, sedimentation and decantation. And we're going to go run through what all those means and how we can do it. So the first thing, why do we want to separate these mixtures? One is that there might be some useful things inside a mixture. Here we've got a mixture of dirt, some leaves, some soil bits, and obviously some water. So what we're going to try to do here today is try to get some clean water out of here using these three processes. So let's set some things up first. So what we've got here is our retort stand, clamp and boss head. Now to do this, we might usually use a ring clamp because obviously with our funnel, we've got a ring clamp to attach to, but here we just use a nice little clamp that goes into the beaker as such. So we've got this water. So what we're going to do now is just to decant this into it. But before we do so, let's add some filter paper into it. Now how do we add the filter paper into our filter funnel? Few very easy steps. We fold the paper in half. We fold it in half again. So it's a nice little quarter, nice little arc we've got going. Then we'll just open it up. Use the other side and it goes like this. So a nice little cone we've got. Something like for ice cream, but now we've got a cone like this. Sits into here. Now you realise if it sits in, it keeps popping out. So what we're going to do is just run it through a little bit of water just to adhere the filter paper to the glass so that any liquids cannot get outside of this process. So let's go through. So there we go, just a bit of moisture, just adheres it to the glass surface. That was nice and stuck there. There we go. Ready to go. So I said we would use a ring clamp normally, but today we're improvising and that's what it's all about. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we've run the process of sedimentation here. Now, as we looked at last lesson, sediments occur when you've got a heavier substances into a mixture, something settled down the bottom because they're a lot heavier. So that's our sediments at the very bottom of the beaker here. Now this is what we call a suspension because we have particles in the middle here that we can actually see. So sedimentation is whereby the particles go down the bottom and then we can decant out the rest of the mixture. So hopefully through sedimentation we let things settle to the bottom as sediments and decanting is where we just carefully pour it off the rest of the liquid and leaving behind any heavy objects down the bottom. So let's do that now. So decanting is very careful. There we go. And so as we decant it, as you can see, back to all the yucky sediments down the bottom and all the rest of the mixture, including all the suspended particles, are into our filter funnel here. So if you think about last lesson, when we looked at the types of mixtures, we had our suspension, all the particles that are lifted up within the things, some of it also floats. Now we could have got some of those floating particles off by skimming it off, but this does the same thing. So you could separate it through flotation, whereby some substances sink, other substances float due to different densities. So if you've got, say, a mixture of sand and, say, your foam balls, you could all chuck in a piece of water. So therefore the sand is heavier, more dense, so therefore float down. So the styrofoam balls are less dense, they float to the top and you can skim them off. So that's one way you could separate mixtures with, of, of solid objects with different densities. So here what we've got is a process whereby we had 
mixture of different types of substances, some very large, some very small. And so the smaller ones kept up within the mixture as our suspension. So what's happening here? We've got our funnel that has the rest of the suspension mixture there. And what is happening is that the filter paper is made up of very, very small holes, much smaller than you can see with the naked eye. If you use a microscope to look into it, you'll see that they are very, very small. So what that does, any objects that are smaller than those little holes pass through. Any objects that are obviously a little bit larger stay on top of the paper. So other things at home, like the colanders you'd use, the sieves, the tea strainers, obviously that works by exactly the same process. So here we've got the process happening, and as you can see, it takes a very long time for it to happen, relatively long, and so then what we're left with is the liquid water passing through this, the funnel down the bottom, collecting into our conical flask. Now, why do we use a conical flask when filtering? Very simple. As you can see, it's got the edges here. So what happens as this comes down, it's obviously gonna come down at a bit of speed and a bit of a splash. So what the conical part does, it traps some of the liquids from splashing out of a beaker, which would have a much wider rim. So therefore, everything that comes down is collected within the beaker. Now what we call this part down here, the liquid being collected, is our filtrate. So that's being collected in here. This is cleaner water than what we had to start off with. So remember it was all dirty, yucky, you wouldn't drink it. Here we've got cleaner water. It looks drinkable, but there might be some microscopic things in here which are not drinkable. So therefore you might have to use other separating techniques to get fully clean water. So to sum up here, we've got filtration is the process of by separating different sized substances through various physical means, letting the smaller particles go through and trapping the harder particles at the top, the larger ones I should say. Sedimentation is whereby you let things settle down the bottom, trap the sediments, and then decantation is whereby you just pour off the rest of the liquid and leaving behind the sediments down the bottom. Now let's fast forward to see how we look at the very end. And here we are. As I said, we'll fast forward through a little bit and get to the end result. And this is what we've got. So let's have a look at what is left in our filter paper or the yucky particles that are left. And let's look at our nice clean water we've got down the bottom. So let's see the two. So let's start with what we've got left in the filter paper. As you can see, a few leafy bits there, a few sticks, and obviously a lot of dark sediments that are obviously laid around the edge there. So that's what we mean by filtration. Some of the smaller particles, the dirt particles, are trapped on top of the filter paper, and the, and the rest of the smaller particles, the water, has passed through down into our conical flask. So as you can see, if I get closer, there it is. See, it was very yucky to begin with. You do not want to drink that, do you? Or maybe you do, but I don't. I'll just put that here just to hold it in place. Let's look at a nice clean water, ready to drink. Will you look at that? Nice and clean. It almost looks like it came out of a tap. That's how good this process works.